Hey everyone, let's make some details and mark a lot of edges as sharp. Disable the visibility of everything. Turn on the first reference collection. We'll start these ribbon things. There's one on each side of her coat and one on her backpack. It's a pretty simple shape, so we don't need the reference for now. Shift A, add a plane. Cabin to edit mode. Rotate by 90 degrees on the X axis. Scale up on the Z axis. Remember that you can always see my exact transforms in this bottom box as I go. Control R to add a vertical edge loop. Hold Shift Control R to offset this edge loop. Select the outer vertices. Turn on proportional editing with a smooth fall off. Scale down on the Z axis. Go into side view. Turn off proportional and extrude forward. Scale down on the Z axis. Add an edge loop across the middle. Select the back six edges on this edge loop. Dissolve edges with X. Select these edges. In side view, turn on linear proportional editing. Move forward on the Y axis with a large enough proportional fall off to move these other vertices. Scale down the middle edge loop on the Z axis. Select all with A. Turn on the second reference collection. Turn off proportional, scale down and position the shape to match the reference. I think it's at an angle, so it doesn't have to be exact. This will just give you a rough size. Now let's make the side things. Like everything else, do it however you want. Select this face and duplicate it with Shift D. Pull it over to about here. Select this vertex and move the cursor to selected. Shift S, cursor to selected. Select this entire face and separate by selection with P. Tab into object mode and select this new object. Set its origin to 3D cursor. Add a mirror modifier. Change the axis to Z. Turn on linear proportional editing. Select and move this vertex down. Adjust the fall off to shape it like this. In wireframe mode, select this edge and extrude. Turn off proportional editing, move this edge out. Merge at last with M. Select this edge and extrude up. With these two vertices, select it in this order, merge at last. Select all and in side view, scale by zero on the Y axis. And then move this object back on the Y axis. And then extrude and move forward on the Y axis. In object mode, select the other object and tab into edit mode. Scale up these outer edges so that the side object fits better. Go back into the pointy object and apply the mirror modifier. Select the other object and set its origin to geometry. Back in the pointy object, add a mirror modifier. Use this object as the mirror object. In object mode, apply the modifier. Shift select both of these objects and join them into one with Control J. Turn on the rest of our character's objects, select the code object and tab into edit mode. Let's real quick make her pocket things that I forgot earlier. Select these two faces, extrude out slightly, scale down on the Y axis. Triangulate these upper and bottom faces with J. Move this inner edge. Mark some of these edges as sharp with Control E and add an edge split modifier, disable edge angle. Rename the new object to something that makes sense to you. And position it to match the reference. I did all of my positioning and rotating in edit mode to preserve the origin and default rotation. Once you match it to the reference, turn on your coat and make sure it fits to it. There might be slight differences between your object and the reference, so adjust as necessary. When it looks good, 
add a mirror modifier and choose the coat as the mirror object. I used my old empty as the mirror modifier because I'm a rebel, but either works, and then fine tune as needed. On to the next object. Shift S, cursor to world origin. Shift A, add a circle. Adjust the vertex count to 12. Tab into edit mode and rotate by 90 degrees on the X axis. Scale down to approximately the size of one of these things. Select these two vertices and scale up on the Z axis with linear proportional editing. Now scale down on the X axis. Turn off proportional with O and scale down on the Z axis. Select these vertices and duplicate with Shift D. In side view, rotate by 90 degrees on the Z axis. Scale down on the Y axis. Select these four vertices and scale down even more on the Y axis. Select these two vertices and delete them. Fill in these faces. Select all and shade smooth. Mark these edges as sharp, these edges as well. Maybe this one too, I don't know, who knows. Add edge split modifier. Uncheck edge angle. Maybe don't have this edge sharp, or whatever, I don't know. Add an array modifier. Switch to the Z axis. Change the count to 5. In object mode, apply the array modifier. Change to vertex select. Select all. Merge by distance with M. Close up the top and bottom with faces and divide them down the middle with J. Turn on the reference and position our new object, preferably in object mode, to match. While positioning this object, you can rotate along the global axis by hitting R and then the regular X, Y, or Z. You can also rotate around the object's local axis by hitting R and then double tapping X, Y, or Z. Here I rotated the object on its local X axis. And that looks pretty close to me. Hide everything, and let's make this thing on her sleeves. Shift A, add a circle with 12 vertices. Tab into edit mode, rotate by 90 on the Y axis. Scale down. Select and delete these vertices. Select the remaining vertices, scale down a nearly imperceptible amount on the Z axis. Not sure when I change this, but go back to global orientation and scale down on the Y axis. Change the pivot point to active element, select this vertex and hit A to select all. Duplicate with Shift D. Scale down on the Y axis. Rotate by 45 degrees on the Z axis. Duplicate and rotate by negative 90 on the Z axis. Select these two vertices, extrude with E. Pull back on the Y axis. Select these four vertices and hit F3 to search for subdivide. Select all and merge by distance with M. Fill in the faces.
Select these two edges on both sides and hit V to rip them apart. Go into Vertex Select. Grab the top middle vertex on each side. Pull them up on the Z axis and pull these down. Select these 12 vertices. Switch the pivot point back to median point and scale on the X axis. Select all and merge by distance. Select these vertices and scale up on the X axis a little. Scale these two even more. Select all and shade smooth. Mark some edges as sharp, add an edge flip modifier and deselect edge angle. Just pick some random edges to mark as sharp. Select all and duplicate with Shift D. Move the duplicate over on the X axis. Scale down on the Z axis. Duplicate again and move over here. Scale on the Z axis even more. With edge select, make faces to connect these shapes. Mark just about everything is sharp. Just mark it all. Just mark it all sharp. Alt select this outer edge loop. Extrude out. Scale by zero on the X axis. Scale down every axis. Create a face. Cut in half with J. Mark everything is sharp. Do the same on the other side. This time, extrude again, merge at center, and mark everything as sharp. Pull this vertex back, and this one. Move this forward a bit. Rename this object. In object mode, set the origin to geometry. Position in object mode. Match it to the reference. Turn on the coat, adjust the positioning to fit your coat's geometry, or adjust the coat to fit. Either way works. Go into edit mode. Use proportional editing to tuck the edges of everything into the coat. Make sure to get the point on each side in there. Looks pretty good. Let's copy the buttons off her boots and use those on the coat. Shift D, move and separate with P. Select the new button object. In object mode, set its origin to geometry. Rotate by negative 90 on the Z axis. Position, rotate and scale to match the reference.
In edit mode, duplicate and position the two other buttons. Turn on the code objects and make sure everything fits together. Shade these ribbons smooth, add an edge split modifier, and mark edges as sharp. Hide geometry when it gets in the way. My buttons are kind of floating. This probably means my code is slightly less puffy than the reference model, so I repositioned my buttons to match my coat. It technically would have been more accurate to reshape the coat to match up with the buttons, but either way works. Remember to name and organize your objects. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Leave us a comment or perchance like it the video. Subscribe if applicable. Next time we make the semi-terrifying alien head of an anime character. Stay safe, I love you all, goodbye!